Welcome to the RV. I wanted to talk a little bit about shore power, fuses, breakers. So when you plug into shore power, that gives you your 120 volt AC power, alternating current power. The other part of it is your DC, your direct current, which is run off your batteries. If you plug into your um, shore power, your converter can use AC power throughout your RV and converts it also into your DC power. So you have best of both worlds. You can use your receptacles to power up some appliances, charge phones, whatever, just like you would normally in your house. Um, the DC side of it is for if you have some interior lights that are run off of your 12 volt, your battery system, they'll also work. Uh, and the good side about it is when you're plugged into shore power, your converter is working, you also have an internal battery charger. So it detects if you have low voltage, it'll also charge your battery. So there's never a concern of running your battery empty. It'll basically be charging it as it goes and converting that from AC to DC, you'll not even be using your your battery power. With that in mind, yeah, you can you can pretty much run anything you want as long as you're plugged into shore power, no problem. Hopefully that kind of explains a little bit about it, what happens when you plug your RV into shore power. When I go and open up that uh, panel, I usually like to make sure that the shore power has been disconnected. I don't recommend opening it up and touching everything in there because you, you just never know them. It's best to go unplugged. Uh, do so at your own discretion. All right, <clears throat> this is where your fuse panel is. Should have something that looks similar to this. This is your fuse panel cover. Okay. And there's your fuses. Okay, and then these here, these are your breakers. Your main breaker on the top, and then you have a few more below that one. So it's also, it's worth noting that this is your DC side, or your 12 volt battery side for your fuses. DC distribution panel, okay? DC, 12 volts. This side for your breaker panel, that's AC, your alternating current, okay? So that's your 120 volt. Okay. All right. So on this, I have number one is my pump, two and three are my lights, and then number four is my furnace. And you'll see... They're all 15 amp fuses, maximum 20. So here, the two middle ones are going to be for my lights. But either way, they're all 15 amp fuses, so just double check those to make sure they are 15 amp, um, no more than 20 amp. And then you know you're not going to overload a circuit and burn something up. run or what runs on shore power you know what what um what what um well you know what what have let's try that again have 